Okay, hi lovelies, um, it's me, and this is like, um, the first episode or whatever. Not really tracking how many episodes or whatever, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. And I don't really have a topic for today, but I suppose I want to talk about this missing connection, um, in the club, because you just meet so many people in the club, and, like, everyone's, like, chatty and talkative, and it's like, oh my god, it's like, you know, you're only, like, the amount of people you actually exchange details with is, like, abysmal, like, tiny, minuscule, um, yeah, like, I can't believe it, like, this guy was, like, really, really fine, um, he kind of, like, looked like Glenn from Walking Dead, he looked like a typical Asian American, he looked like Joji a little bit, he had, like, curly hair, you know, mid-length, you know, stubble, um, um, yeah, like, fair skin, um, yeah, no, he's everything, um, his name's Jack, um, still trying to find him, um, we were in the club, um, trying to think of what else, I can't place it, but he did bring a friend, and he was, like, the friend was short, like, but, like, I think Jack's height, like, it was pretty good. Like, it was probably the same height as me, maybe. Um, an inch taller. Um, what else? And, like, he was wearing this white shirt and it said butter on it. Um, that's all I remember. Um, he seemed like... Yeah, he seemed, like, willing to, like, dance and stuff, and I was with my friend, you know, who I just met, sorry, I just met this girl called Claire, and we were dancing together, and I was trying to set her up, like, I was trying to be a wingman type beat, and, um, you know how that goes, um, and she, you know, she seemed a little despondent, um, you know, because she was a little tipsy anyway, so I don't think she was planning on making out with any guys. Even though I told her she should, um, I think because she wanted to, as well as that, you know, initially, um, because we arrived with someone who also, um, you know, came to the club to hook up, and she did. She's, like, lesbian, and she, like, hooked up with, like, four or five girls throughout that whole night. Um, I love her. Anywho, so, yeah, we're dancing, like, you know, Jack and, Jack and Claire, we're all dancing, and... This is, like, on the second floor of the club, and, you know, Jack and the friend, like, I think they go downstairs. Um, but before they do, there was, like, a punch-on, like, a fight that occurred, like a, like, a mini brawl, kind of, like, at the second floor of the club that we were all sharing. And I had to kind of pull Claire away, because it was happening behind her, and she did not know. She was at the bar, like, ordering drinks. So, yeah, no, I tell her, like, no, like, hon, like, you gotta step back, there's literally people fighting. <laughs> and, yeah, no, Jack, he's like, oh my god, like, I hate when people fight, like, I, and, but, like, you know, he expressed that, but he also expressed that he hated the bystanders recording, which, let me just tell you, when man's put forward his, like, when man said that, I was just, like, so shocked. I was like, yes, no, I agree. You know, Claire agreed as well. Like, we were all on his side. Um, Jack is legit a humanitarian. Um, he looked, like, about, like, early 20s. Um, I don't have a photo of him, but I wish I did. Just for a reference point, so when I put out missing person posters, um, you know, they know who I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so we, you know, Jack and his friend, like, disappear. Both of them are good looking, by the way. Like, they have the looks. And, yeah, they go downstairs, and, you know, Claire and I are just dancing second floor, and then we decide to be like, okay, let's just find this man and his friend, because it's like, I don't know. Well, like, he was fine, so, like, and he was talking to us, like, for quite a bit. Um. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, no, okay, but before the fight, before the fight, and before, 
um, we go downstairs. Um, there was a girl who left the bathroom crying, and I think Jack spoke to her for a second, and then she just, like, went back to crying again, like, even more, sitting on the table, and, you know, Claire and I approach her, um, I thought Jack might have, like, been rude to her or something, so yeah, we asked the girl, like, at, you know, in, at the second floor of the club still, and we're like, hey, like, hun, what's wrong? We're talking over the music, and she's just typing on her phone, like, telling us what's happened. And she's, like, she's typing, I cheated on my boyfriend, um, I don't feel bad, but she's, like, kind of tearing up still. And Claire just gives her a hug while she's, like, whilst the girl's still crying, and she's, like, kind of scared, doesn't know what to do, um, and then... <laughs> And then we're like, okay, hun, like, we gotta go, like, bye, sis, like, I'm so sorry that you cheated on your boyfriend. And then, yeah, we turn to Jack, and he's like, yeah, I just told her the truth, like, that's an awful thing that she should have done, like, he was really giving, like, the man's perspective. Um, I told the girl not to tell the boyfriend, like, if she cares about him. Sorry, that's not really good advice, but... I mean, if it's a new relationship, then it doesn't really matter. Anywho, yeah, no, so... Yeah, no, Jack was funny for being blunt with her. And I think that's when I caught feelings, because I was like, dang, like, man's really said that. So, yeah, no, him and his friend disappear downstairs, and then Claire and I are like, okay, like, let's just follow them downstairs, like, after a while. Like, we didn't purposely follow but we were looking for them they could have been in the bathroom and i did check there so we're like okay they're downstairs and they were so with covid and stuff um the dance floor there there was a line because there's only so many people who could go in to the dance floor so you know we spot them claire and i we see them over like the little balcony that's on first floor, to the dance floor. Yeah, so we see, and we're like, okay, like, we gotta, like, say hi, like, we gotta dance with them still. And legit, this was the last time we see them. We wait in line for at least half an hour, like, I'm kidding you. Like, I wasn't checking times, but we would have been waiting in that line for half an hour for the dance floor. The dance floor that has, like, chairs and tables on that no one's sitting on. Um, so yeah, we go down there, and like, we're literally at the front of the queue, and then Jack and his friend leave. Oh, a nightmare. Literally a nightmare. So, you know, Jack and his friend, and Claire and I, you know, we talk for a bit, you know, so we, we give a brief, like, hey, how's it going, like, my name's blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he's like, my name's... Jack, and, like, he gives me a handshake, so bloody weird, but I was like, oh, kind of love that man, like, he was definitely queer-coded, um, but, yeah, no, I, the fact that I will never bump into that man again, probably, is, like, so sad, one day, one day, like, I don't want to be revisiting the same club just to look for a man with a butter shirt, but you never know, like, I saw a photo that was posted on by another club, and it did look like him. There was a photo, and it looked so similar to him. But, I don't know. Let's just... I don't know. He's not the main man, anyways. He's not all... He's not everything. Like, hopefully we can spot another Jack one day. I'm um, a man that gives us at least more detail. Because, God, like... He's, he was probably, like, a gamer or something. He gave me, like, gamer, like, nerdy, geeky, quirky vibes. But, obviously, I don't know. He's definitely a student, that's for sure. But, I don't know. Well, one day. One day we'll see that man again. Also, I am so, so mad at the club venue. Because I messaged them, like, two, three times, like... You know, when are you going to upload the photos from Saturday night? 
and they're like, oh yeah, they're gonna be uploaded this week, blah, blah, blah. like, it's Thursday, like, come on now, like, if I, if it, like, if the photos aren't released by the next time they open, which is Friday, Saturday, two days, like, legit, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's not gonna be happy for them, because I got, like, a few photos with the photographer, and, like, I need some new photos, like, goddamn, like, it's a goal of mine to get more, more photos, because the past two years it's been nothing, legit, um, and no one likes just selfies, like, all the time, you know what I mean, like, I don't know, I don't post selfies, but, like, having just selfies, it's like, honey, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, um, everyone loves a good selfie, but, like, at the same time, come on, it gets repetitive, like, we've all seen that face and pose and, yeah. Also, what I'm really, really mad at, about as well, which I should know in this podcast, because I need to get it out, is the fact that li literally, like, Hinge banned me, right? Um, and I put in appeal for it, because I'm like, um, you can't ban me from Hinge when I was, like, when it was doing better than Grinder for a brief moment, whilst I wasn't unbanned, um, like, I put an appeal, because I got banned randomly, and it's been, like, a month or two now, like, what's going on at Hinge headquarters? Like, literally, I am unhinged, like, I'm not being funny, it's true, like, I don't know, like, what to do, like, because... They said if you put in a second appeal, or you spam, which I haven't done neither of those things, um, like, your appeal will go from being at the top to being at the very bottom. So it's like, what do I do? Like, do I respond? Do I put in another appeal? Like, are you guys ignoring me? Do I call the California headquarters? Like, do I spend money calling internationally? Like, I don't know, but... And in the appeal, I was like, yes, I am over 18, like, the fuck, <laughs> I don't understand, like, who's running that fucking business? And I think I've experienced transphobia, even though I'm not even fucking trans. It's like, I'll never win. I hate, I hate these big corporations, like, I'm banned on Tinder as well, um, for no reason at all. Like, each time I open and use that app, it gives me the same match as each time. It's literally, ground, like, Groundhog Day on fucking Tinder, where it's, like, you know, I'll have the the same matches, like, in the same order, same everything, each time I open it. So if I spend one hour on Tinder, right, scroll through the matches, you know, yes, 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 to, like, get out of the app, open it up again, I'm given the same collection of people, like, it's like I have no internet or data, but I don't know. It's like, it could go like, um, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, but it's legit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing, but it's not very funny. Like, yeah, no, so Tinder, Tinder's gone shit, so Tinder can go in the bin, um, hinge, like, I've been losing hope, like, I've become very despondent. Goodbye, Hinge. You were good for a brief moment. Grinder. I was... <laughs> Don't get me started. I've been... I feel like I'm wasting my time on Grinder, Um, which is is a given already, but... Like, on Grinder, I feel like... I don't know, like... There isn't good people there. Like, I'm not trying to talk to old men. I'm not trying to get catfished. Like, legit. Um... Yeah, no, it's really bad grinder where I live, like, there's nothing. And, like, there's no new profiles, like, there's... Mm. Yeah, and I have been banned on grinder a few times. Um, but I just use someone else's, like, phone number. And I might do that for Hinge, but I haven't tried yet, because I feel like everyone I know has Hinge, so I need to ask someone who's taken... Just so I can secure that phone number, because, like, I deserve to be unhinged. Like, the fuck? I don't know what I did wrong, but they could at least tell me. 
So I am going to be boycotting these like dating websites and services and apps because like I'm not finding anyone like <laughs> of value like nah like I think Hinge has been the best out of all of them like in retrospect like thank you Hinge um I feel like there is a element of pretending to be someone else on Hinge like it's very forced like the, like the prompts are like so dumb like I'm sorry but I don't know whose idea that was but it's like the hin like the hinge prompts like they only go so far like there's only like I haven't counted but I'd say there's like 20 or 30 probably less but um I feel like as well as that I feel like people copy other people's responses like for the prompts so, like, each profile is saying the same thing. Like, it's not giving me anything new, really. And I don't like that. I really hate it. And I feel like you have to adopt some attitude to, like, really show your personality in that. Like, there's no bio, really, except for, like, the stats. You know, age, sexuality, I don't know, once kids, smokes does drugs whatever right like like what am I supposed to get from that because like you don't even have to put anything for that like it should be compulsory but I don't know I don't make that up <laughs> I don't make that stupid fucking app that fucking blocked me and I am mad about it because like how can you ghost someone like after putting an appeal because um in the email like the initial email it said, we're going to tell you if we reject your appeal and we're going to tell you if we accept your appeal and you can be brought back to Hinge. Like, I haven't received neither, so what the fuck's going on? I want to know. Okay, I know this is all over the place, but like, having been, you know, having this exclusion from all these apps, like, Am I supposed to, like, meet people the traditional way? Like, am I supposed to, like, really be going to clubs thinking that I'm going to be getting someone? Because, like, there's no action in these straight fucking clubs. And, like, each time I go, I get fucking harassed. Like, it's not a win. It's a loss. Like, I'm not getting anything out of it. There are no, you know, there's nothing cute there. And each time I get scouted by, like, a guy, they're so, like, gross-looking and, like, predatory. And, like, they're, like, five years older than me, which, okay, like, they're, you know, that's besides the point. Like, I don't care if they're five years older than me, but it's, like, they look ten years older than me, but they're actually five years older than me. But it's because they look older, like, they look 30, 40 but they're actually, you know, obviously a bit younger. It's, like, kind of gross. It's, like, get away from me. Like, I'm sick of it. And I feel like all the guys in clubs, like, I'm not saying they're out of shape, but, like, the ones who want me aren't, like, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but, like, they've drank. You can tell, like, they've drank, you know, more often, like, and I don't like, I, that doesn't appeal to me. I'm not saying they have to be thin, but I'm just saying that, like, the beers add up, if you know what I mean, like, and it's not fun for me, because it's, like, I don't want, like, that heavy breathing on my neck and shit, like, I've done it before, it's, like, gross, and, like, getting manhandled is, like, I don't know, I think, I think it's too much for me, like, it brings back too much, and that doesn't sit well with me, like, mm, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Someone needs to tell these men, like, get away from me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, I get that I put myself out there, but it's like, you don't need to, like, I don't know. Like, let me come to you, like, exactly. Like, I don't know. I was kind of, like, pursuing Jack on Saturday. Like, I was pushing Claire into him, like, to get his attention. Even though he was already looking at me before, but, like, you know, pushing her in front of him so man's could, like, 
you know, give her a hug from behind type of type beat, like a little grind, you know. And like he kind of turned away a bit, so I was like, oh, I guess not. But then again, we kind of did get in between him and his friends, so maybe maybe it should have been the other way around. Maybe Claire should have been pushing me into Jack, but I don't know. Jack was like, I don't know. Man's 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 just wanted to be out for months in his life, type B, if you know what I mean. I'm starting to think that I was microwaved as a child. Like, my mum would have put me in the microwave. And actually, I kind of want to avoid talking about my mum. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I will talk about her. I don't know. But she keeps emailing me a lot more, so. Which is kind of good, considering she kind of, like, goes MIA. Yeah. Um... I had, like, an okay sexual counter yesterday. Oh my god, sorry to, like, transition into that, but... Yeah, she didn't... I don't think... Yeah, no, she didn't email me yesterday, so I was like, oh. Oh, that's... I guess she is living her life. I gotta live mine. But yeah, I think about the sexual encounter yesterday, so Wednesday night. Like, Mans was, like, low-key in a hurry. Like, he has things to do, so I get that. And, yeah, no, he, he said that he couldn't come because of his antidepressants. But, like, looking at my, like, jumper that I was wearing, like, my sweatshirt, t-shirt, or whatever. Like, there was something definitely, like, man's definitely did something because there's a lot of stains. And my throat bloody hurts and it's, like, not fun, like. Because he's done it before, like, it's the second time, of course. Um, yeah, no, I want to sue him, because, like, I don't know, it's my fault, because I'm a dumb bitch, but, I don't know, I kind of, he's not that bad looking, but he kind of, like, because he wears glasses, like, and I think he has, like, short facial features. I'm not saying he looks like a frog, but I think he should maybe have contacts, um, yeah, I think maybe the, I don't know, I think glasses suit him, but maybe contacts would, like, complement it a bit more better. Just so you can kind of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think his nose is very good, but, um, he has, like, his hair going for him. Sorry, I yawned. He has his hair going for him, like, he has nice hair, like, it's, like, very textured, like, it's permed. I, like, obviously, um, he has, like, some earrings, which are cute, like, cross earrings, um, he's definitely going for that, like, popularized, like, not e-boy now, I wouldn't call it that, like, um, I feel like, you know, mullet, bloody, I don't know how to explain it, it's just what every cliche guy is, like, kind of adopting, who kind of, like, not hype beast, but, like, kind of on the fringe of being, like, quirky, like, um, I can't name drop anyone because I can't think right now, but it's, like, you know, you have the mullet, you kind of have the moustache, you kind of have, like, not the solid build, but, like, definitely, like, muscular and, yeah, and, like, kind of beard-ish, yeah, and, like, I think they're called sticker tattoos, someone said, like, he has, like, an eye, like, and he has, like, yeah, you know, like, a couple behind the ear, and, like, a few on the arm, and, like, maybe a leg, maybe, I don't know, I haven't inspected his body like that, um, and what else, um, yeah, like, he couldn't come, which was sad, and, like, I don't know, I think he was, like, really good at fingering, but, that's, that's his only good quality, like, but I don't know how to explain it, like, I feel bad for thinking it, but, like, um, because he's, like, I'm bisexual, like, I can tell, like, yeah, we know, we know this, but, like, he was, like, fingering me as if, like, I had a clit, if that makes sense, and because, like, I, like, I kind of, like, when I was shaving, like, you know, I did shave, down there, which was a bad idea, and I, like, cut something, and I could feel it too, and there was blood, and oh my god, 
um, yeah, so he was kind of fingering that, and I was like, oh my god, like, stop, it actually fucking hurts, and I don't know, I think, like, I understand why, like, people, you know, have to sniff poppers, or, like, take amyl nitrate, or whatever, but, like, I know that's not for me, but, I don't know, maybe take an aspirin or five, like, just so we know we're safe, I'd say, hmm, um, yeah, I feel like, in a sense, like, maybe Mans is, like, trying to have me as a sneaky link, considering he left a few things here, um, and I was kind of, like, keen on, like, giving him some things, because he's like, I'm poor, blah, 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 like, I don't have money, blah, 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 and I'm like, okay, um, like, I understand, like, you know, me too, like, I'm poor, but I think when a man says that, it makes it his focal point of his personality, like, I'm not saying it's narcissism, but he's definitely fishing for some sympathy, so I was gonna give him some of this, like, fruit, like, I put it in the freezer, but it's, like, bread with cheese on it, and you just bake it, um, like, cheesy panna bread, panna bread, but I think, like, you know, thinking about that, like, it's from this church that gave it to me, and, like, I actually opened it, like, this morning, and it had fucking mold on it, like, green mold, so I was like, oh, kind of glad I didn't give it to him, because he would have thought that I was being a dickhead, um, even though it was out of date, actually, by a couple days, like, that's not bad, but, like, fucking mold, how does mold even get in there, like, what the fuck? Um, I feel like because everything that church gives me is, like, out of date, um, I feel like beggars can't be choosers, but considering it's all donated, like, from, like, don't waste food organization type B, like, I think someone needs to, like, draw a line between, you know, going over the expiry date and not going over the expiry date. Like, for example, like, don't give me bread that's, like, two days gone, you know what I mean? Like, don't do that. Like, like, bish, like, I'm a human too, like, the fuck? <laughs> um, yeah, no, like, it's not edible once there's bloody mold and bacteria on it, so, yeah. Okay, seriously, seriously, but, like, the last thing that I have to say on here is, like, um, with, like, almond milk or, like, any boxed milk, right, um, like, I think I bought one that was tampered with, because, like, I've been doing, like, really regular shits today, like, I've been going to the toilet, like, very frequently, and, like, I just want to know, like, when you open that carton of, like, milk, right, or plant-based milk, like, is it meant to, like, is the silver thing that, like, it, like, is it meant to be broken? Like, is it... I don't know, like, I don't remember ever in my life opening it, but for the safety th seal, like, I think I did open that, I'm not sure, like, I can't remember now, but, I don't know, like, it was half empty, like, I could feel it, like, I know I didn't drink any of it, like, I don't have cereal, like, I didn't have any cereal with it, um, I don't, yeah, like, I ran out of cereal ages ago, and I thought I wouldn't waste my time buying it, because I just eat it, like, as, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so it's not fun anymore, and it's, like, I'm just, like, I don't know what to do, like, do I throw it out, like, there's only, like, a mouthful left, like, do I just drink it, like, I don't want to know, like, I don't, I feel like I should tell Coles, but at the same time, it was two dollars, like, do I just let the two dollars go, I don't know, like, I don't know, I'll think about it, but I'm gonna end it here, you stay safe, babes.